Hey guys, Hackersploit here, back again with another video. Welcome back to the Penetration Testing Bootcamp. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to use Multigo to enumerate publicly available information about a target or a particular domain. All right, so Multigo is available on any penetration testing distribution and can be installed on Windows uh, as well as Linux and Mac OS. All right, so I'm just going to search for Multigo here. So we'll click on it right now. And if you want more information about Multigo, you can essentially just search for Multigo here. Uh, so what I'll do is uh, we'll just wait for Multigo to, to load up here. So we'll just open up uh, Multigo's website. You actually need to create an account with Multigo. So we'll just click on the website here. And uh, I already have created my account and I've signed in. So once you have that signed in, it's uh, absolutely free to use the community edition. So you can see it gives you information about the tool. So Multigo is an open source intelligence or OSINT and graphical link analysis tool for gathering and connecting information for investigative tasks. So uh, again, the whole idea behind Multigo and why it's useful in pen testing is it allows you to build uh, an, a graph or an understanding of how the organization or the, the assets of a company are structured. And when I talk about the assets, I'm talking about digital assets. So you can uh, enumerate information, publicly available information, and you can link it together to make sense of it all. Because uh, as, you, as, you, as you've seen from the previous two videos, you're gathering a lot of information and uh, there isn't a good way of documenting it. So the first thing you should be doing is taking notes. But with a tool like Multigo, uh, you'll see how awesome this is. So again, uh, just create an account. And uh, once you've opened up Multigo, like I have here, uh, you should be able to or you will be prompted to sign in and uh, we can get started, right? So what you'll be greeted with after you've signed in is something called the Transform Hub, which are ex uh, essentially just modules or plugins that give you additional uh, functionality like uh, it ac actually extends the functionality by giving you uh, access to various databases, you know, that contain information that might be useful to what you're doing. So, for example, we have the Shodan uh, transform here which again allows you to use the the Shodan search engine or the API to to query uh, search requests to, to, to query various various requests that you might be interested in um, for now all we want to do is focus on the Perturva CTAS as uh, CE which is community edition transform here uh, this will give us all the information that we uh, we will be using in this particular video so the objective of this video is to demonstrate how to use Multigo for passive information gathering and how it can be very useful. So we'll create a new, uh, we'll, we'll create a new graph here. And uh, on your on your left hand side, you can see you have your entity palette. So this classifies the target that you're dealing with and your starting point. All right. So let's say we want to start off with a domain. All right. So we're going to say a domain, and we'll uh, for this video, the example we're going to be using is Yahoo.com. All right. And to get started interacting with this domain, you want to right click on it. And uh, you can see that we have transforms, all right? So transforms are different pieces of functionality or tasks you can do. Uh, in this case, let's start off with DNS, right? So we want to get some DNS information. But before we do that, we can actually take a look at all the transforms. Uh, you can see we can, uh, we can enumerate uh, information, uh, for example, the mail server, the name servers. Uh, we can find other top level domains. We can say to domain, for example, or to a website. So, for example, let's perform to a website first. Uh, so that gives us the website here. Uh, we can then right click on it and say we want the name servers. That will give us the name servers. From that, we'll be able to enumerate uh, subdomains. We then want the mail servers. That tells us where the mail is being handled. So you can see we have the various mail servers here. Uh, we then want to take a look at uh, the other top level domains associated with yahoo.com. All right, so that gives us all of these top level domains. So, for example, we have, um, let's try and sort that out correctly. So, we can sort it out this way. Um, and I'll actually show you how to sort this out shortly. So, we have yahoo.ac, yahoo.academy, uh, accounts, etc. Um, so, what we want to do first of all is um, Let's see if we can re if we can resolve uh, some emails, right? So first of all, we'll say um, to email address and we can use uh, from who is information or uh, PGP or using search engines. 
So I will first of all use the search engines. So we'll wait for that to load up and let's see if we're able to get any. Uh, so there we are. it tells us it's done and we couldn't get any emails from the search engine, which is fine. Um, let's see if we can get any IP addresses, right? So from the name servers themselves, uh, let's see if we can find any shared. Um, let's go back here and we'll go to all transforms and we'll say uh, we should be able to find um, we should be able to find uh, the shared the websites that actually uh, or the domains that actually run on these name servers so I'm not too sure why that isn't working um, so we can resolve this to an IP first of all let's see if we can resolve these to various IPs and uh, yeah there we are and then we can confirm the owner of these IPs so IP owner detail uh, and we can look for their email address uh, that will again come from various sources and there we are so we have uh, various OAuth uh, uh, dot com websites uh, netblock admin dot at yahoo inc dot com so we have some very useful emails here um, let's go back up so the that is for the name service but um, if we try and resolve these domains here we can group them together and say DNS from domain. Let's see what name servers they point to. They should be pointing to the standard Yahoo. There we are. It looks like we have a few more here. So what I'll do is I'll actually try and group all the name servers uh, like so. I don't know whether you guys can see that. So I'll group all the name servers here. And uh, let's see if we can actually convert. Well, we don't actually get that option. So there we are. So to domains sharing this name server. That will that'll tell us all the other domains that are currently hosted on these name servers. So we'll wait for that to load up. Uh, so that's still taking a while. You can see it's still running the transforms. So there we are. We have tons of sites here, and that's giving us a top-down. Uh, it's giving us a top-down overview of the of the structure here. So we have Yahoo, uh, Yahoo uh, Logins.com, uh, Free Yahoo French. Uh, we have uh, Yahoo Chat Rooms. Uh, rocketmail.ru that's that's weird that's weird so we can see we have some very interesting stuff here so we can we can actually dns from domain let's let's check out the name servers and then the top level domains associated with rocketmail but again we're going out of scope now but you you get the idea we can gather tons of information about publicly avail uh, about targets you know from publicly available sources like search engines and other databases like uh, like netcraft uh, and you can see it gives us a good way of uh, it gives us a good representation of all the information we've gathered and how it relates to each other in terms of domains, name servers, mail servers, etc. All right, so that's pretty much going to be it for this video, guys. Uh, I have uh, other comprehensive videos covering how to use Multigo, uh, but you can use it for any of your targets. They'll, they'll give you a good understanding of what you're dealing with. And uh, I'll be seeing you in the next video. Peace. Thank you.